The Recognitions by William Gaddis is a groundbreaking novel for three main reasons. One, the written dialogue here is completely innovative. He's written it in a way which is completely unlike anything you've seen before. There's no speech marks, names. It just runs really quickly. The group conversations are so fluid and there's some really great party scenes in this book. Two, this is the first American novel I've seen with multiple languages and cultures and settings. So it's very varied in its writing style and also its content. And three, this is a uniquely challenging read because Gaddis chooses to relocate and rename the characters throughout the novel. So it's quite hard to keep tabs on who is who. This is going to be the simplest overview of this book and I hope by the end of this video you'll know whether to spend more than a month reading this. The Recognitions is like if Breaking Bad and First Reformed had a baby, except we're talking about art dealers, not drug dealers. The basic plot of The Recognitions is about a painter named Wyatt who is convinced by an art seller named Brown to fabricate classic expensive paintings for lots of money. And the remainder of the story is Wyatt losing his identity and sanity as he gets increasingly worried that he's going to be found out as a fraudulent artist. The basic moral of the recognitions is quite similar to that of Mother Night by Kurt Vonnegut. It's advising against deceit because it distorts one's identity, that if we lie too much we forget who we are. But William Gaddis is more ambivalent about the morality of lying because positive outcomes come from the art fraud. Namely, some classic paintings are returned to their country of origin in Europe from America. And also some cheap religious paintings are restored with some divine inspiration. The Recognitions also explores how deceit distorts three things we commonly think of as divine. Religion, art and one's mirror image. And shows that the identity crisis from lying is just not worth it. I will leave a more detailed analysis of this book in my Goodreads review, including a dream I had where I met William Gaddis and he told me what the book was about and how I actually think this book is about syphilis. What I need to say is why you might not like this book and why I'm giving it three stars. And there's loads of reasons. It's offensively blasphemous and racist. It's over 900 pages of people in New York bars without jobs. This book is almost impossible to read without using a synopsis. There are loads of esoteric Catholic history facts that no one's gonna know. It sometimes has a disgusting sense of humor, similar to dead baby jokes. Gaddis doesn't always tell you who is talking. All the characters are emotionally cold and unlikable. That said, these features are intentional and part of the terrain, so don't come here looking for an easy read. Gaddis expects a lot from his readers, and it's the reason why this book didn't do so well as a debut novel. But in recent years where people are trying harder books, people are going back and seeing that this might be okay. But if you want to see how a perfect party scene is written, or you want a challenging mediation on identity and religious faith, then this book could be for you. Get the synopsis, work on through it, and you might be rewarded.